development of embryo it is a process of development of zygote into an embryo the process is called embryogenesis so in embryogenesis zygote forms embryo now this is a micropylar end and this is the chalazal end and this is the embryo sac development of embryo takes place at the micropylar end of embryo sac when certain amount of endosperm is formed the time it triggers the growth of embryo means growth of embryo triggers only after certain amount of endosperm is formed here zygote divides to form two celled pro embryo so this is zygote it divides to form two celled pro embryo the two cells are unequal in size the larger cell towards the micropylar end is called basal or suspensor initial cell and at the chalazal end the smaller cell is called embryonal initial cell or terminal cell so this is suspensor initial cell that is basal cell and this is embryonal initial cell that is terminal cell in both the cells cell division takes place at the same time but for understanding let's study this separately so here suspensor cell divides transversely in one plane to produce filamentous suspensor of 6 to 10 cells so this filamentous suspensor is made up of 6 to 10 cells the first cell of the suspensor towards the micropylar end becomes swollen and functions as a hostorium the lower most cell of suspensor is known as hypophysis so this is hostorium and this is hypophysis hostorium is the first cell of suspensor hypophysis is the lower most cell of suspensor suspensor helps in pushing the embryo deep inside the endosperm now let's focus on embryonal initial cell it undergoes three successive mitotic division to form octant and the planes of division are at right angle to each other so here first it form two cell structure then four cell structure and then eight cell structure that is octant now in this octant the lower tier of four cells of octant give rise to hypocotyl and radical so lower tier of four cells of octant they forms hypocotyl and radical whereas four cells of upper tier forms pumil and one or two cotyledons depending whether it is monocot or dicot seed this is hypophysis which by further division give rise to the part of radical and root cap subsequently the cells in the upper tier of octant divides in several plane so as to become heart shape with then forms two lateral cotyledons and a terminal pumil further enlargement of hypocotyl and cotyledon results in a curvature of embryo and it appears horse shoe shaped the embryo development is similar in both dicot and monocot up to the octant stage the differences appears later in monocot embryo single cotyledon occupies terminal position and pumil is lateral the protective sheet of pumil is called coleoptile and that of radical is coleoriza finally ovule is transformed into the seed and ovary into the fruit